Hi, I'm going to show you how we make poetry stones. Now, what is a poetry stone? This is actually a kit to make one. Um, a poetry stone is a stone, actually it's just a piece of concrete um, with some words on it. So, if you're doing concrete work, you can embed this later in it or um, yeah, use it as a stepping stone, garden marker, whatever. What I have here is actually a ready-made kit for making this kind of stones, uh, bought at a craft store. It contains several different um, size forms, like this, plastic forms, and they give you some letters that you can stamp into the concrete, letters and numbers and punctuation, and they give you some cement. Um, some concrete. Actually, this is a very, very fine, dust fine silica sand mixed with Portland cement. It's super expensive. You can buy it at a craft store. Uh, what I really thought, hey, why don't I just use this? Why don't I just use this ordinary concrete? Because instead of being 20 bucks for a small box, I get this whole thing for about 4 bucks. It's like 80 pounds. Uh, the problem with ordinary sack concrete is that it contains big pebbles, like quarter inch or maybe half inch pebbles, and it will not take an impression very well. Um, if you wanted, if you had a source of fine sand, you could use that and mix it with Portland cement, which is almost free. It's like a hundred pounds is like six bucks or something, and you could make your own that way. Okay. Now the way I do this is first, it's very important I think, first lay down a board. I have a piece of masonite here. Um, you could use a regular board or something. The reason for this is later if you want to move this thing, you can't really move it for two days unless you have something under it. Because if you pick up the form with just a floppy plastic under it, then the whole thing will fall apart. And I put um, some sort of tarp or this is just a plastic bag on top of it to protect the surface underneath and then I have to measure out the amount of concrete. Now if this were ordinary um, construction concrete I would just mix up a bunch in a bucket but since this stuff is so expensive what I do is I pour it so it's level in the form to get the amount of concrete. Well actually I know from experience how much I need. I could just weigh it out, but if you're starting out and you have a form, pour the dry concrete to measure how much. All right, here's the approximate amount I'll need. I poured the dry mix into the form and leveled it off. Oh, notice also I'm wearing gloves and hopefully a dust mask because Portland cement contains lye, I believe. It's um, an irritant. Okay, so I've got that dry stuff, dry powder. I'm going to put it in a bucket. I'm just using an old plastic um, tub here. And then I'll add some water. Okay, so my dry concrete mix is now in this bucket. And I'm going to put some water in. Now be careful with the water. Do not put too much. You can always put more later. But if you put too much water, you're going to have a hard time drying it out. Be um, you want about a cup of water. Um, but I would just mix it in a tiny bit at a time. And the best way I can describe it is you want it, you know, if you're walking along the beach and that place right by the water line where the sand is all smooth, you kind of step on it and the sand sort of gives, that's how you want it to be. You don't want it to be like uh, pudding or a batter that you can actually pour. It has to be um, sort of um, strong. So I've mixed it up and okay check this out here see that that's the texture that you want it all it sticks to the trowel it um it's not like batter or pudding you can kind of trowel it into a smooth press it into a smooth surface and if you make an impression on it the impression stays so anyway that's that's the idea if it's too liquid then you're going to spend a lot of time waiting for the water to drain out of it so you can make an impression.
All right, so here it is, um, troweled into the form and smoothed over on the top. I had to add a little more. Actually, once you get the dry measure, usually, I forgot to say, I put in like a third more, but you can go by weight or, or you can always mix some more and put it in. Anyway, now I'm going to go clean up my tools because I have a little bit of time before this sets. Okay, you may have noticed, you see there's a little bit of water kind of seeping out from underneath here. That's normal. Um, doesn't mean that you put too much water, although you might have. I like to just kind of sop some of that up. And at the same time, I think I'll clean off this form a little bit. And now to stamp the letters in there. Um, I don't really know the best way to do this. Sometimes I'll have to work backwards from the end of the word um, to get the best alignment. Um, and I especially, especially if I have a letter like the letter H because that's a tall letter. If I started my E right up here towards the edge then the H would, wouldn't fit. So got a plan and I can't really do it over. I guess I could trowel it over and start over but it would be a royal pain. So anyway I'll try to stamp some letters now. I'll press in and remove the stamp almost immediately maybe after um, a few seconds. So I've stamped in the inscription and now I'm going to let it harden for about 48 hours. I think after 24 it's set but I'm going to wait 48 anyway uh, because I can. It's been about two days since we left this mold to dry and let's see yep looks like it's nice and hard and set um, and it's time to remove the stone from the mold. Now these plastic molds have a draft angle. Now what does that mean? That means the sides of the mold are sloped either this way or this way. So if the sides are sloped like this then I want to pull this thing up. If the sides are sloped like this then I want to pop the stone out. Um, in any case it should be easy to take the stone out. If it's hard um, then you're pushing it the wrong way. Try the other way. So I happen to know on this one let's see if I can yeah you can see it's already pretty easy to get this loose. I happen to know that this one pops up. So I'll take this off now Alright, and then I'll just leave this to dry a few more days. Then I'll cement it into place where in its final destination. Uh, looks nice.